It's a twister. It's a twister. <laughs> Okay, I had this crazy idea the other day to make a soap inspired by The Wizard of Oz. Since we've got Halloween coming up and all that, so I wanted to do a soap based on when the witch writes in the sky on her broomstick, Surrender Dorothy. So this soap is called Surrender Dorothy and it's going to be pretty simple in the base. And then on the top, I'm going to use some black, so charcoal. I'm going to use some charcoal in the soap batter to create my lettering on the top of the soap. And I'll show you what I've got. So I'll just listen to my podcast. So I don't know if this will pick up, but I hope it will. So I took this off of. Um, Google images, so it says Surrender Dorothy, I hope you can see that because I can't get any closer at the most. So the lettering is really quite basic and childlike, which is a good thing because to get this on top of a soap is going to be a bit tricky. So if I go quiet, I'm just concentrating. So that's that. That's what I'm going to be doing as a design. Now the base is going to just be like blue and white, so we're going to have like I wanted just like wispy clouds to match that picture because she's in the sky after all so that's what we're going to do and then for my blend I looked up um, Judy Garland's favourite perfume and her favourite perfume was Marguerite. Now I don't have Marguerite so I've looked up the base, the base notes, the middle notes, top notes of the perfume and I've created my own blend. I have no idea if it smells anything like it, I doubt it, but it's got some powdery, some powdery notes and some citrus notes. This smells really 1950s, 1960s, this blend. It's got like, it's got oak moss and clary sage, lemon and bergamot, so it's got like that cologne scent with that vintage kind of smell. You know when you smell like perfumes that have been talked about for years and years and when you actually get to smell them it's like, oh. And they're never like quite as complex as you imagine. This is like that. It's like green. It's very green. Um, and kind of musk, not musky because it's not musk, but more of like a, like a green cologne mixed with like powder, like aldehyde notes. It is good, but it's strange. It smells vintage, which is what I wanted it to smell like. <laughs> I'll get out what I'm trying to say to you. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So, that's my inspiration, is The Wizard of Oz. And Surrender Dorothy was the main inspiration. I was just looking through some pictures, and I saw that one. I thought, oh my god, yeah, that was like one of my favourite parts of the film. And I thought... That should be pretty easy to get on top of a soap. So the only thing, I've written it down on a piece of paper which is kind of like the size of my mould here. And I've just had a practice because it's got to look like she's done it on a broomstick, you know? Not like proper lettering. So if it goes sort of a bit wonky, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So let's stick blend this and we'll get our colours sorted. So I've just emulsified that. Now what I want to do is get some... Let me get a bowl and I'll be back. Okay, so I don't need too much for my charcoal bit. So I'm just going to pour some off. Reserve it for the lettering. That should be enough. I hope. Maybe put a little bit more in there. Okay, and then the other bit. I want to do my blue swirl. It's kind of wispy, I want it. And I'm going to get my white. Titanium dioxide and water. 
And I'm just going to take the end of this spoon, which is a teaspoon, so about five grams, which is, it isn't five grams, it's about two or three of my cup. And this one is Sky Blue by Mineral Makeup Ingredients. So let me just stick blend slightly just to get that white mixed in. in a minute. I'm just going to pour my essential oil blend in there and in there, put to the side and just stir that in. Think of a like a sort of powdery citrus cologne. That's what it smells like. So that's what old Judy Garland smelled like, kind of. <laughs> Kind of. Okay. It's going dark today. Who is it? The uh, cowardly lion. He says, surrender Dorothy. I think it's him that says that. <laughs> A you know, wicked old witch. Wicked old witch on a broomstick. I love that bit of that film. Somebody mentioned on something I was reading about it. Um, did surrender Dorothy because they didn't she didn't put a comma after surrender that it means that the people that are with Dorothy should surrender Dorothy. If there'd been a comma, it would mean that she wants Dorothy to surrender. But I just thought, she's a witch on a broomstick. She couldn't have done a comma. So that's just stupid. So I think that it meant she wanted Dorothy to surrender. <laughs> it's probably what people come up with in the comments on YouTube, isn't it? Okay, so we're just gonna pour this in. That looks really nice. You can't really beat an in the pot swirl, can you? Sometimes it's just the like the easiest soap to make ever. I'll scrape all that out. And I'll bring you in for when I'm going to do the lettering, so you can see up close. And just really, really hope I don't cock it up because otherwise it will be. A real bugger. And this soap will end up just being a nice essential oil blend soap. It's like the whole point of it is to get that on the to get those letters onto it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I blew off that stick blender. Sorry about this. It will all add to the look. Kind of a bit splashy over the top then. Waste not, want not. I'm going to have to swirl that in because I want that lettering on the top to be definite, you know. I don't want this blue to get in the way of my lettering at all. So I'm just going to swirl it and make it look a bit more like clouds in a way pretty okay now I mix I've got a bit on the floor I need to just mix my charcoal so let's move the soap to the side a second and clean up a bit and get my charcoal let's 
mix in some black. Surrender down at the end. finish it tomorrow in there. I hope I have. Okay, I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see this lettering. Okay, now if I go quiet, you'll know why. I've taken my goggles off because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep that near and get my black. I'm going to start ooh, with the S. It doesn't have to be perfect because if you look up this picture while you're watching this, it's not perfect at all. I think this has worked out pretty good. And then let's go up there for the R and the R. Surrender is done. Now we're going to do our Dorothy. And I'll have some leftover black, which is a good thing because I need to uh, make some bats. Okay, so Dorothy, you're going down here. stressful you know I wasn't going to film this because I thought I'm just going to cock this up if I try and do it on video but actually a few years ago you'd have made me nervous but you don't anymore okay why Dorothy there we go <laughs> all right I'm not going to do anything else to it I, I like it as it is okay so there's my surrender Dorothy soap and so there we go, there's Surrender Dorothy and I'll be back tomorrow in the morning to cut her, cut her, okay? Hope you enjoyed that <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
have to put a lamp on in here today because it's very dark outside um, we've had the first frost this morning which wasn't very nice right, it was nice it was a lovely blue sky and a lovely clear morning so I've been out with the dog okay so we're going to be chopping up the surrender Dorothy but really the whole point was just to get that across the middle so I want to use the picture that I use for Instagram on the website otherwise I'd have had to have done surrender Dorothy surrender Dorothy 25 times all over the top so that I because this cuts 25 bars I would have had to have made a, had a stamp made or something like that to do it 25 times across the top so there's no way I was going to do that with the pipette and get it right and have time so I do this again I'd get a get something made for it that smells really good mmm the lemon and the bergamot are really coming through and then those oak moss that I put in there's a nice base note I can't really smell Ylang Ylang yet. I'll tell you what this smells like, it's come out actually smelling like neroli, like a really good orange blossom, so that's interesting. I normally use Pettigrain if I want neroli, like a neroli scent, but yeah, god it's hot in here, let me just take my cardio off. I've um, put the heating on yesterday because it got cold, it started to get really cold, so I thought I'd better put the heating on, and now the heating's on and it's really hot. It's nice to have it t-shirt. I like t-shirt weather. Oh shit. Excuse my French. So today I have got a lady coming to see me about um, courier, being a courier for me. I'm using Royal Mail at the moment. I use DHL for my overseas, like European orders. And I am fed up with the post office because, well, Royal Mail and the post office, because what they've started to do is they're making us now go into the post office to take our mail at the end of every day. So when I've been packing orders and it gets to like half past four in the afternoon, the last thing I want to go and do, I'm just showing you this, it's just a blue swell look. The last thing I want to go and do is stand in the post office at the end of the day. So, I used to be able to take all my parcels around the back, in the bag, so I'd have like however many bags and the Royal Mail would let me take them around the back and just drop them, up, drop them off in front of their warehouse at the back so I wouldn't have to go into the post office, but now all that's changed and now that they want you to go into the post office, drop it with them, take your confirmed order on the paper hand that over so they can scan it in and blah 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 which means that at the end of all my working day I've now got to stand in a bloody post office queue it's the, just the last thing that I want to do at the end of every day I want to get home at the end of every day so I'm looking into using a courier full time and with the courier they'll come and collect from me and provide me with the printer for all the labels, provide me with the labels, provide me with the bags to send in, not the boxes, but I can, you know, I'd still buy my boxes anyway, but they'll provide, provide me with bags. It gives, it will give my customers full tracking and a one hour time slot for delivery via text. So there's lots of good things for using a courier the only thing is is the price is going to be higher than royal mail because at the moment i get quite a good deal with royal mail god this is a boring conversation but you know some people might be interested in this but i get a deal with royal mail due to the volume that i send out so i get like a really good deal on parcels up to two kilos which i can pass on to the customers but i don't get any track service I don't get a collection, I have to go and take it to the post office, now I've got to stand in a queue at the end of every day, no tracking, no nothing, no confirmation of delivery, nothing. So, 
I'm going to look into this uh, DPD I'm going to go with, who used to be called Interlink, and I've known them for years because I used to sell mail order plants and when I worked at the nursery we used to use Interlink for all of our shipments apart from letters like letter posts that would go Royal Mail but we had a business collection with Royal Mail but if you don't what do you have to spend £15,000 a year to get a free collection otherwise they charge you £800 a year for the privilege of them coming out to collect your parcels which I think is okay it's an okay price but I don't want to pay it I don't want to pay them £800 a year just to come and collect my parcels. So I'd rather pay that same price, if you see what I mean, across the board and have a courier that's going to take my parcels, track my parcels, drop my parcels with my customer with a one hour time slot, text them when it's going to be set, you know, all that. I just think that's a much better service. So the ladies come in today at half past 11 to come and discuss my requirements. And we shall see. So that's uh, something I've got to do today. Other than cut soap and drink coffee and pack orders and get Halloween ready and blah, blah, blah. There's lots of things I've got to do today. But that's okay. That's okay. So, Surrender Dorothy is cut. And before any UK people, I'm really sorry about this, but before you start asking me questions about Courier's Royal Mail, every service that you get in this country is bespoke, so I can't offer you any advice. I get lots of UK people asking me about postage and how do I deal with it, but the thing is, like, it's different. Everybody is different. So I can't give you advice on who you should use, what you should use, because it all depends on what volume you're sending, what you require from the services and blah 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 it's we're all different so i'm not gonna offer advice on that score that's like that's just something you have to work out for yourselves i do get asked but it's not something i can actually answer so i'm very sorry about that but i just can't due to those reasons i've just told you i just can't help you with that so you have to look into these things yourself because it's all to do with the weight the weight of your product the size of your product and all that sort of thing. Mm. So, I'm going to go. Surrender Dorothy is done. I will be back for the next video. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but we shall see. It'll be a surprise. So have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.